I am actually just soaking in U of T. There's a frisbee coming at me. Dorothy, Dorothy. <laughs> this might be super nerdy, but I am so happy right now with these books that are in my hand. I don't think people realize how privileged they are to go to university and to have access to this. This entire building is filled with so many different books and references and sources and those are all the same thing. You have access to so much information. How are you not going to take advantage of it? I don't know why I am so excited, but it's like for once I have leisurely reading time and it's stuff that I've studied and paid for and paid to learn for the past like five years. So I'm really excited to read these and I was telling my cousin, Christine, if you're watching, I really hope that I will be fluent by the end of this summer because I think that, I don't know where I'm walking right now, I think that you can teach yourself if you are determined. I will show you guys my haul in a second when I find somewhere to sit. That food truck has the best fries. Fries with gravy and you put ketchup on there, it is so, so, so good. She always asks, something to drink? And if you're thirsty, you better say yes. <laughs> My arm is so tired. I swear I'm getting a workout. Work out your brain and you work out your body. Carry heavy books. <laughs> In case you didn't know, parts of the notebook were filmed here. Okay, I got a seat. Hold on. So I found my tree here, which is a lovely. It's hard to find a tree here during the year, but luckily, because it is summertime, there are fewer people. All right, time to show you guys what I got. If you did not know, both my parents speak Ilocano. My mom is from Nueva Vizcaya, and my dad is from Ilocos Norte, I think. Wrong. San Fernando, La Union. So I think that's an Ilocos Norte. Wrong. Wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Wrong. Mr. Trump. The Ilocano Dictionary and Grammar, book number one. Book number two, it is a dictionary and phrase book. Different phrases and proverbs that are spoken in Ilocano that they translate and teach you and I'm really excited. So third book I got is Parlo Tagalog. Now this is exciting because it's where my two worlds collide. I studied French for five years here at U of T and I really want to learn Tagalog. It's actually one of my summer goals to get a dictionary, but this is actually more exciting because it gives you the history, it gives you information about the grammar, and of course, it is in French. Exciting! Just soaking in U of T, there's a frisbee coming at me. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> There's a girl staring at me and I don't know why. Maybe she needs to take a picture of her, but I'm not. I'm talking to you clearly. My friend Rachel actually posted on Facebook um, about this book called Tagalog Reference Grammar. And she posted like the Amazon link and it's actually a thousand dollars. But luckily she found out that it was at Robarts. This is the only book I actually came to Robarts for. So I finally got it, which is really exciting. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read all of this by the time that these books are due, but I am very excited. We are here! Yeah! This is Lily! How's it going, y'all? That's where Jesus is. Come find him. Joking! He's everywhere! In my heart. In your heart? Could be. In mine, too! <laughs> and Lily's heart. <laughs>
goes to the DJ straight up and asks him what song it is. <laughs> it's Flora Martinez. <laughs> Who? Flora Martinez. Flora Martinez. Where are you going? Oh my gosh, she's going back. Look at this. Look at the ceiling. It's so pretty. There's the bar. There's even more seating down there. It's quite nice at night. <laughs> it is gelato, like ice cream sandwich, yeah. and a croissant.